Okay. A couple uh, links for you below, including a uh, article from uh, Lens Tip where they did a lot of hardcore testing on transmission rates on the semi-transparent mirror or the SLT mirror that covers the Sony A99 II. You know, when I made that video a couple, three days ago, I got a lot of flack. But the most important thing, and this is what I pay attention to most, other people don't pay attention to this, but as a Platonist, I really pay attention to it, is you don't listen to what people say, is you listen to what they don't say. And not a single one of them refuted the facts. It's an undeniable fact, and Lens Tip confirmed that. They did a lot of really hardcore testing. Please check out the link below. When you remove that mirror, you have 30% more light striking the sensor. Most importantly, and I didn't even know this, at the blue end spectrum range of, uh, of light hitting the sensor, less than 60% is making its way there. So almost half of the blue end light uh, from, I think, was it less than 640 nanometers? The, the links are below. Is, hit, is making its way to the sensor. There's a graph. The average ends up being 70%. So there's 30% light, less light on average, but it gets really bad towards the blue green and the blue end of the spectrum. Um, I don't know what anybody's, you know, what what's the issue? I mean, if I liked Sony 100%, and I don't, I mean, that's no bloody mystery, right? If I liked them 100%, how in God's name would the damn facts be any different? They wouldn't be any different. Now, here's a direct quote from Sony Alpha. Now, these are the, you know, these are the hardcore Sony people, right? I got the link below. It's from September something, 2000, whatever. I've got the quote below. They said the SLT mirror, the semi-transparent mirror, blocks out a little over 5% of the light. <clears throat> I mean, not, not the light, excuse me, 5% of the detail, excuse me. They didn't say light because it's 30% of the light. See, the important part is, is the details that are lost, 5% of those details that are lost are over 90% of the micro contrast that any lens is dropping to the sensor. Now, I used to have a road blimp. I don't know if you know what a blimp is. It looks like a blimp, and it's really hairy. It kind of looks like a cat, like a rounded cat. And you stick a shotgun microphone in that. You stick it on the end of a boom pole for outdoor, uh, high-end, you know, movie-level recording. I sold off the blimp since I didn't really use it anymore. Um, you know that cuts down on wind noise, right? You don't hear that in your microphone. Same thing as a pop shield. It actually keeps you from... Uh, getting too close to the microphone also keeps you from uh, you know your P's and your S's and these other uh, um, uh, sounds uh, from making the microphone pop right yeah hissing you know all that noise not the pops like in a pop filter but like this little filter that's on the Sony micro it's a Sony microphone by the way you know what do you think it's dropping out what do you think that uh, that blimp you know what a blimp looks like, right? Looks like a big furry cat drops out all the stuff that you don't want to hear. Well, photography is just the inverse of audio. And now, you know, you can obviously pass it through. Uh, I'm really good at Adobe Audition, which is sound editing software. Pretty good at it anyway. You can actually find that noise and cancel it out. Um, you, you have just the opposite issue with photography. All of that low gain uh, light information is what is being blocked by people. So, you, well, Sony Alpha Rumors is correct in saying 5% of the detail is lost. Within that 5% of the detail is 90% of the micro contrast. If I were to <clears throat> place this windshield on this microphone right here, uh -huh. and if I started lowering my voice or lowering the gain on the preamp, to the point where, let's just take the microphone and uh, take this off first. If I lowered it to the point where I'm whispering into this microphone, and you could barely hear me in this microphone as I'm whispering into it, and then I take this and stick that right on there, and I continue to whisper, what do you think is going to happen? My whisper is going to become inaudible, unless I boost the hell out of it, right? 
it's going to be doesn't matter if 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 it wasn't captured to begin with you could boost the hell out of it all you want if it's missing it's missing it's missing so 5% of the detail is where 95% of the low gain micro contrast intertonals are so it's both correct and incorrect at the same time so sony alpha is correct on stating that fact that semi transmit uh, transparent mirror if you remove it it's an undeniable fact that 30% or more more of the light is hitting the sensor the hell do you think's going to happen when you stick a mirror in front of the sensor what the hell do you think's going to happen if i'm whispering into this microphone and then i stick this little sucker on top of it what the hell what the hell what the hell is wrong with people they want to fight with me about that video Let's say I love Sony to death and I was a hardcore fanboy. How the hell are the facts any damn different? They're not. People grow the hell up. You like shooting with that camera? That's fine. I was just pointing out the facts to anybody that was considering it. You know, I don't care what anybody buys. You know, you buy whatever the hell you want. I don't make a penny either way. Isn't that the case? Am I making a penny if you buy a Sony or a Nikon or a Fuji? I mean, no, of course I'm not. You should be armed with the facts, you know? You may stick your head in the sand or go, la, 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 I don't want to hear it, I don't want to hear it, I don't want to, you know, really? Kind of juvenile, isn't it? What the hell are people bitching about? That video, oh my god, you suck. You know, you just hate Sony. If I loved or hated Sony either way, how the hell does that change the facts? Doesn't change them at all, does it? Check the two links below. One of them is a really great article from uh, Lens Tip. Lens Tips? From a few years ago. The semi-transparent mirror hasn't changed since it's been around for quite a few years now quality of production manufacturers probably improved some but its transmissive uh, ability hasn't changed there's a uh, Yannick actually sent me a link to another guy who was actually showing the uh, heavily cropped in pixel peeping and uh, you could tell that a significant amount of the detail had been lost at 100% blow up so you know, just be armed with the facts you know for Christ's sakes what's wrong with people thanks bye Ba-dum-ba-dum-ba Ba-dum-ba-dum-ba-dum-ba-dum-ba-dum